Hey, go freeze. It is good to see you virtually like through a video. Um, but I hope that you are having an incredible week. I hope this week has been amazing and I hope that you are as excited, if not way more excited than I am about this coming weekend. This is everything that you need to know and a couple of things you need to do for this Sunday Momentum Church at our Gulf Breeze campus. Man, I cannot, I cannot wait. First off, number one, we are wrapping up our series that we've been in, this Address the Mess series. Oh man, Pastor Tim has gone through it. Jesus, Job, you name it. It has been Jonah. I mean, we've gone through it and you don't want to miss this week's story about how God is not only right in the middle of our mess, but God's actually bigger than the messes that we create. I mean, it's been an incredible incredible series so encouraging and i know that it's helped you i've heard so many of your stories about how god has spoke to you and really just man touched your heart if that's the case we want to know and that leads me to my next thing number two man let's be story miners okay what that means is let's be on the lookout of where god is moving and if you have a story or you know of a story we want to know it because stories are i mean that's how Jesus taught. When he walked, he told stories. Stories are one of the best ways to teach and to connect and to shine a light on what God is doing in your life. So if you have a story of, of fasting, we just wrapped up our 21-day fast. If you have a fasting story, we want to hear it. If you have a story on tithing, like, man, you started trusting God with your finances and you've got a, a really cool story of where God's shown up and, and done a big work, we want to know so we can celebrate with you and we can shine a light on what God is doing in your life because people want to know, can God do the same thing in my life? And when we show stories, we get to answer that question with a resounding yes. So let's, let's, let's mine those stories. And really, if you have a story or you know someone who does, Man, send me a text. You guys have my cell phone or an email, tyler at momentumchurch.org. I want to hear your story of what God is doing in your life. Number three, man, moving on, man. If you know of people, we want to really let, we want to get people in the game. And so on our serve teams, man, if you know someone who's been coming to the campus or you've been sticky, that word's going to come up in just a minute. But if you've been sticky with a guest or a returning guest or a VIP and you want to help them get plugged in because you want them to experience all the joy, all the fun, and all that God is doing through you serving, let's let other people get in on that. So, man, hey, let's do some big recruiting this week, man. Let's get that, that word in front of people um, and let's get people plugged in to the game off the bench in the game, coach. So let's, let, let's, uh, let's really put a light on that this week. And then lastly, let's be sticky. See, there's that word sticky. Let's be sticky. And, and really what that means is let's connect well with our guest this week. And so let's be guest focused. Okay. No matter where you're serving, no matter where you are, whether it's the parking lot or the kids environments, or you're on the all access team, music, whatever, greeting, you name it. If I didn't mention your team host team, if I didn't mention your team, then then man, then, then I'm not forgetting about you, I promise. Um, but the point is, no matter where you're serving, you can be sticky and you can be guest focused. So what does that look like to be guest focused? It's a great question. I'm so glad you asked it. Um, to be sticky really just means to be focused on our guests. So when they walk in, when when man, we got first time guests walking in, we have returning guests coming in this this door, other direction. Instead of me like having a conversation with my buddy, with someone, you know, talking Tennessee football or 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 who whatever, instead of being focused on them, in that moment, I'm focused on our guest. And I'm I'm making a beeline to connect, to meet somebody new, or this is really good too, to remember a name. And so being sticky doesn't mean that I have 30 conversations. Really, being sticky means I remember one name or two names. So when they come back, I'm, I'm getting to learn them and I get to answer that question that you had when you first came and that all of our guests walk in the door with. And that question is, do I belong here? And when you greet them and you remember their name, that is how you not only welcome every guest home, but you answer that question they have of, do I belong here? 
with an overwhelming yes, yes, this is home and you belong here. I love you guys. I can't, oh, last thing, man, we are announcing our February series this weekend. I was told not to tell you, so I, I've got to keep my word, but we're going to announce it this weekend and you don't want to miss being there as we be the first to know of our February series. I told him I wouldn't say anything. I won't be good. I promise. It, you don't want to miss this series. It's going to be it's going to be so good. I'm so excited about it. And I'm so excited to see you this weekend at Momentum Church. We'll see you soon.